Hello, and welcome back to Live or Diecast. On today's episode, we'll be doing a wheel swap on a 1968 Dodge Dart. So stick around and let's have some fun. Today, our wheel choices will be the Chevelle, the real riders on the torque thrusts, which I really like, or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles van to give it more of a drag look. Well, what are we going to use? Stay tuned and let's see. I really like the Dodge Dart. have a soft spot for the Dodge Dart. So we have taken it out of the package and we're going to go ahead and drill out the rivets and get started on our wheel swap. We're going to reuse the package. I'm going to reseal it and put it in a hard case or a protector case. So we'll put that to the side. I really like the deco. I think it's really cool. Uh, the wheels are not my favorite. We're going to put some details on the rear tail lights. We'll put some details on the headlights and we'll put some underneath as well. So you stick around. We're going to start with our 964 drill bit and we're going to drill just enough. Oh, 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 put some oil in there. Let's put some oil in there. Give me one second. Just a little drop of oil there and a little dab there. Now let's get started. We want to apply a little bit of pressure. And the goal is to just pop that little rivet ring off. Once you get that out of the way, you'll be able to take the hot wheels apart. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning into this video, commenting, and interacting with Live or Diecast. Now using a little screwdriver, we're going to just apply a little pressure and try to pop that little rivet ring off. Turn on the light. Shed some light on the subject. And then we'll drill this one out. So what do you think? What's your choice of you? Will we use your choice? Well. Let's see. I do have a I do have a choice made. The decision has been made and I think they are really going to make this casting pop. These red and blue wheels have got to go. All right. We've got our rivets drilled out. Now let's separate this thing. Let's take it apart. Set the body, interior, and glass to the side. And using a small screwdriver, just apply a little pressure between these three little tabs to separate that channel just enough to slip that wheel and axle assembly out. Try to be careful not to break the tabs completely off so that when you put the new axle and wheel assembly in, you can apply a little bit of pressure and fold those back over the axle and ensure it is placed correctly. Set that to the side and do the other side. Yeah, I think this is really going to look cool when I get it done. I hope you stick around till the end. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the build or the wheel swap and the details. And if you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. 
be greatly appreciated. All right, I think we have got this ready for the new wheel and axle assemblies. Now we're gonna switch over to our number 51 drill bit and we are going to drill the pilot holes for our screws in the front and rear post on the body of the casting. We'll take our interior and glass out and set those to the side. I'm gonna leave the red interior alone. I absolutely love it. Now, we're gonna drill out these posts. We're gonna go about an eighth of an inch deep. We're gonna put some tail light details on this and then the headlight details <clears throat> actually go on the chrome interior part. I'm gonna leave the base chrome. I like it. We're gonna add some details to it. And I'm gonna show you how I add my details. We'll apply a little drop there, a little drop there. And we're gonna drill about an eighth of an inch deep using our number 51 drill bit. You want to try to stay in the center of the post. Keep your drill straight. Apply a little pressure and proceed. All right, let's do the other side. Now this one, the post is a little shorter. So you're going to want to be careful not to go too deep. Don't apply too much pressure because you do not want to go through the other side. You'll have a hole in the deck lid of your casting. That would not be good. A little bit more. Be careful not to go too deep. We don't, we don't want it coming out the other side through the hole. So I think we're good. Now we're going to grab our number 52 plug tap. And we are going to make some threads for our screws. And the screws will give it a real nice look when we go back together with it. And then down in the future, if you ever want to do another wheel swap, all you have to do is pop the screws off, take the wheels out, replace them, put those on, you know, you're good to go. And I've been known to do that, change wheels down the road and it makes it easy if they're, if they're already drilled and tapped with screws. Now again, be real easy with this tap. You don't want to go in too much without backing out, cleaning those threads out, because what'll happen, I know I've said this before, but it's happened to me once. I went in too much and backed it out and the tap broke off and it was created a mess for me. I did end up salvaging the casting, but it took me a while to get that drill bit out of there, so. Pew, and then back it out. Tap it out, clean those posts out. All right, now we're ready to run our screws in there before 
final assembly. There's the screws I use. There's the parts number. Come from Amazon. Phillips head self, self tapping or self threading, sorry. But I like to put the threads in there. It just ensures that it goes together that much easier when we do go back together with it. We'll run these screws in, make sure they do go in all the way, they don't bottom out, and we will proceed. I can't wait to get these wheels on here. I think they are just going to make it pop. It's going to look wonderful. All right, we got our screws in. Now we'll take them back out and set them to the side. And we have successfully drilled and tapped the casting. All right, well, you're probably wondering what wheels we're going to use. And I've decided to go with these. I really like these. I think they're going to look good. It's going to be a perfect fit. Don't have to make axle tubes. It's going to roll nicely. And I think these wheels are really going to make that 1968 Dodge Dart come to life. So, let's get it out of the package. The wheels and tires set a casting off. They really do. All right, it's out of the package. Let's check it out. Pretty cool looking. I like the hunter orange with the black stripes. Yeah, those wheels are going to look good on that dart. Now, what I'll do is when I take these wheels away from this premium casting, since it is an all metal casting and it is a good looking casting and it's my son's favorite uh, year of Chevelle, I will keep it and I'll put it to the side. And he didn't really care for these wheels. So I told him I would take the wheels from it and use them for another project and down the road we'll find another one that he likes the wheels and we'll put some wheels on it and it'll be, it'll be back to life. So we will not discard it permanently, just temporarily. Oh wait, we've got a doll drilled out. Let's take it apart and let's get, get our wheels and tires off this thing. Now I use end nips. There's three little metal tabs. I use these little end nips and I just kind of uh, cut the little tabs off and then I'll take a small straight screwdriver and get down in there and kind of separate that metal a little bit, just enough to slip those axles out of there. All right, so we cut our tabs, we put our screwdriver in and separated the axle channel and we are ready to take our wheels, put them on our dart, and I think they are going to look fabulous. We'll get our Chevelle snapped back together, and we'll put it to the side, and we will work on it at a later date. But its life is definitely not over. Now for the fun part, let's get our new wheels on our dart. But first, we're going to add our details. We're going to put some headlight details. We're going to put some details underneath the chassis. Do some brake lights. And we are going to use our paint markers to do that. So 
So I've got my blue, got a white one, and of course, a red one. We'll give them a good shake. And we are ready to add some details on the brake lights. And I always use a little paper towel to the side just to kind of uh, dab the paint marker on before I go to the surface I'm wanting to paint. Um, just to make sure there's not big globs on the end of it because it has happened to me before where I haven't done that and I've shaken it up and there's been a big glob on the end and I touch the surface and it just bleeds all over and I have to wipe it all off and start again. So just, just a little side tip. You don't need a lot. Be real gentle, kind of dab. Stay within those lines because if that paint get, hits those lines, it'll bleed out and it looks terrible. So we've got just a little dab on it, just enough to add a little detail to the rear end of this dart. And I think that's perfect. I think that looks wonderful. Not a lot, but just, just adds a little touch. Now we're going to add some red to the bottom of the base on the chassis. And again, using just a dabbing motion. some blue give it a good shake clean the end of it off on our paper towel and get ready to apply it to the surface and again just using a little dabbing motion You don't need a lot. And this will just add a little something to the casting. When, when we put it back in the package, you'll be able to see it through the protector. It looks kind of cool. So again, not, not a lot, nothing very technical, but it does add a nice some nice finishing touches to your project. All right, we're gonna take our white, give it a good shake, we'll clean it out, dab it on the paper towel, and then we'll put in some little headlight details in the front. Uh, I know a lot of guys use gray, some use silver. I really like white. Um, are headlights white? No, but I think white really pops on a headlight detail, so it is the color choice that I prefer. Again, you could use whatever color you prefer as well. bit get a little more paint on the end there and just using a dabbing motion we are applying our headlight details okay so we've got our little details made put our paint markers away 
So we've got our headlights. It's kind of hard to see, I know. And we've got some details on the bottom of the chassis. Now, are we ready to put this thing together or what? So if you have stuck around this long, you're probably ready to see what this is gonna look like. And you know what? I am too. So we're gonna pop our glass in. We're gonna put our red interior in. And we are going to put our Yeah, we've got our headlights. This this looks this is gonna look cool. All right, let's put our wheel and axles in. Again, a perfect fit. No axle tubes needed on this project. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on those tabs to fold them back over that axle to ensure that it stays in place. The interior tabs will also ensure that as well. But again, it's just a just another step that I take. Do you have to do it? Probably not. All right, let's snap it together. Oh yeah, let's put our screws in. Yeah. This thing looks sick. I can't wait to show it to you. Yeah, I think these wheels really set this casting off. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the livery on it with those colored wheels, but man, I tell you what, with these chrome wheels, these real riders, that livery came to life. I would, I mean, I would actually drive that, you know, especially think about something like that back in the 60s, 70s, be the cool kid on the block, man, nice spin, that thing looks sick, what do you think, leave a comment below, let me know, got some details done, it rolls nice, What do you think? Looking good. Well, we're done. Check it out. What do you think? This has been our wheel swap on the 1968 Dodge Dart. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank each and every single one of you for sticking around this long. This has been Live or Die Cast. Until next time, I'm out. Mm -hmm.